So let's uh, sit down on our handle and take off your leg strap and wind your leg strap around your handle. Yep, wrap it up nice and tight. That's it. Good job. Beautiful. And then when you have it nice and tight, just get warm. Sorry, Michelle. <laughs> I think you're going to get splashed. Okay, let's see if we can focus now on doing some yoga, yeah? <laughs> Alright, so grind those sit bones down into the board. And if you want to leave your eyes open today, because it is a little bit swelly, you can. But if you'd like to close your eyes, you can also. Up. And just feel a lengthening up through the crown of the head, up towards that drone. <laughs> and feel the length in the spine. Relax your shoulders down away from the ears and just start to bring your awareness to your breath. Bring your awareness internally and not care so much about the external distractions. I'm going to start the class with three sounds of OM. If you want to join me, you can. If you don't want to join me, it's completely okay. Just enjoy the sensations of being on the water. Exhale to begin. Inhale. Um. Inhale. up to your heart center, drop your head to your heart, you just want to feel a sense of being centered on the board even though the external environment is moving so much and has so much activity in it today and feel a lengthening in all the sides of the neck as you rotate the head. So focusing more on the lengthening than on the contraction. And then when you're ready, turn the rotation in the other direction. If there's any bits of the neck that feel a bit stuck or stiff today, hang out there. You can go a little bit forwards and backwards over those areas. And as we breathe in, we're going to point our fingertips up towards the sky. And as we breathe out, we're going to open up and bring our fingertips down to the water. Feel the texture of the water with your fingertips. And now we're going to rotate our whole arm all the way from the shoulders. Fingertips facing upwards, feeling the rotation and the opening in the chest. Breathing in and looking up. Breathing out, bringing the hands down to the heart center. And again, breathing in, looking up. Breathing out, feeling the extension, fingertips to water, rotate the whole arm and up you come, breathing in, 
and then hands all the way down to the knees this time. And now bring your left hand behind your spine. Use it to lengthen up the spine. Bring the right hand to the left knee and feel a rotation in the spine. Now we're going to come over onto our hands and knees. So just scooch back a little bit away from the handle and then roll over onto your hands and knees. Belly over the handle. You want your fingertips nice and wide. Middle finger pointing out towards the front of the board. Elbow, uh, elbows, wrists and shoulders aligned. Knee underneath the hip. So we're going to drop the belly and inhale and look up. Feel a lengthening in the front of the body. And exhale, push that spine up towards the sky. Inhaling, dropping the belly, feeling the extension in the front of the body from the chin down to the pelvic, pelvic bone. And rolling the spine, feeling the extension from the crown of the head down to the tailbone. Drop the belly, inhale. And exhale. So breathing in, extend. Breathing out, come down to the board. So switching from one side to the other with your breath and feeling the extension a short moment today because the waves are moving so much. Let's just hold the extension. Breathe. Extend those fingertips all the way forward. Extend the heel all the way back. Turn on those core muscles. And if it helps to do a little bit of an Indian head wobble here. Loosening out through the shoulders. And now just dropping the head down and feeling the extension from the fingertips to the heels. Beautiful. Breathe in and come forward into plank. Nice straight legs. Feeling the push up in the front of the body. Bring your knees to the board. Bring your chin to the board. Bring your chest to the board. Bring your belly to the board. Big toes touching. Come up into a baby cobra. Extend the front of the neck. Beautiful. From here, push back into a child's pose just for a moment today. Now tuck the toes, come up, downward facing dog. Bring the left knee up towards the handle and drop your left foot off the side of the board. So you're facing towards the shore. Extend your right leg out behind you and see if you can open up to the shore. Stack your hips one on top of the other. Stack your shoulders one on top of the other. It's a nice and tricky posture today, especially facing towards the shore. Looking good though. Top hand reaching right up to the sky. Open up that heart center. Beautiful, bring the hand. Woohoo! <laughs> good job, Georgia. All right, come back to plank. Come down, knees, chest, chin. Big toes touching, just pop up into baby cobra. Push back into child's pose. Tuck your toes, come up. Downward facing dog. And now it should be slightly easier looking out towards the horizon. Bring that right foot, right knee forward. Right hand to the center of the board. Extend through the left leg. Open up. Hips stacked on top of each other. Heart center wide open. Breathing in that beautiful horizon. Beautiful. Bring that hand around. Come back into plank. 
Nice, calm down, knees, chest, chin. All right, let's come to standing. So breathe in, bring the feet to the handle, the hands to the handle. Lengthen out through the spine, fold forward, bend the knees and drop the belly to the knees. And then hands out to the side, coming up all the way to standing. Hands up above the head if you can. Join them together and bring them down to your heart center. Beautiful. Drop the hands down by the side. Let's just do a little adjustment of our feet. So check your feet. Make sure they're wide enough apart for you. Good job, Bianca. Nice save. All right, now squeezing together. So lift up your toes. Yay! My first fall! First fall of the summer, people! It's a wonder we didn't all fall. Right? <laughs> it had to be today, right? Alright, other side. Right foot towards the middle of the board. Left foot up nice and strong. Right heel down towards the board. Left thigh. Nice and high. Straighten out that back leg. Push that heel up towards the sky. Beautiful. Drop it down to the board. Come forward into plank. Come down, knees, chest, chin or chaturanga. Baby cobra or upward facing dog, your choice. Look out between your legs. Heels down towards the board. Fingertips nice and wide. All right, drop the knees down to the board. Cross the ankles behind you and then sit Turn over and sit your backside onto the handle. And then point those toes down towards the water and then point those toes up towards the knees. See if you feel a different sensation on the inner thighs when you point your toes down towards the sand. So point them. And when you bring them up towards your knees. So belly towards the board. Activate the toes up towards the knees. So breathing in, extending and lengthening and breathing out, folding. Activate those toes up towards the knees. And then when you're ready, push yourself back up to seated. Bring the feet both around onto the board. wondering where it had gone. It's just up really high. Okay, we're going to fold forward. So breathing in, lengthening up through the spine and breathing out, folding forward with a nice flat back. Let your hands rest wherever they reach to. Activate those toes up towards the belly. Hands behind you. Fingers can be facing outwards or inward. Doesn't matter. We're going to come up into a tabletop and put our eyes up towards that drone. Ready? Push up. Eyes up towards the sky. Hips up. Feeling an opening in the heart center. So push up nice and high with the hips. Opening up through the heart center, lengthening the front of the neck. Push up, push up, push up. Up a little bit higher. If you just want to push the knees down to the water, it's also okay. Your choice. We really are rocking around today, right? All right, straighten up those legs and let, let's do a twist. So 
Bring your right leg over your left leg. Activate the toes up towards the belly. Uh, lengthen out through the, the right hand and bring it round behind you. Lengthen the spine or wrap that knee with your arm. Opening up through the shoulder, feeling a lengthening as you breathe in and a twist as you exhale. Lengthen, exhaling twist. You've got your hand pointing upwards. Open up those fingers, nice and wide. Point up towards the sky. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist. So lower back on the handle. And bring your lat on the board. Fingertips pointing down towards the heels. Fingertips might touch the heels, they might not. So fingertips down towards the heels. And then I want you to curl your pubic bone to your navel and feel your lower back pushing into the board. And then as we inhale, we're going to come up one vertebrae at a time. Stay up at the top. Breathe. Beautiful. Keeping the hips up nice and high. Okay, so bring those heels towards the fingertips again. Curl your pubic bone to your navel. Interlace your hands underneath the butt and come up on your shoulders. Push up towards the sky. Open those eyes and look at that big blue sky. Push the hips up. Nice and high. Feel the extension from your toes, through your knees, through your thighs and your glutes. Feel a squeezing in the shoulder blades. Push up. And now release the hands down towards the heels. Release the shoulders to the board. Pubic bone to navel, grinding that lower back down into the board. And feel those hips pointing up towards the sky. Push up nice and high. 